guys so today we're actually having some company over so I thought I would make a nice fall inspired salad and some grilled chicken um, and then for dessert we're gonna have little apple tarts and so the salad that I'm gonna make is fall inspired because it has squash in it and uh, potatoes actually it's going to be the same recipe um, that I used for the fall tacos. So the delicata squash and the sweet potatoes, I'm gonna cut them up, put them oven, put them in the oven and bake them. Then I'm going to put arugula. Um, the dressing is gonna be like a balsamic dressing and I'm gonna sprinkle some uh, pomegranate kernels as well. It's so good, You're gonna, you guys are gonna love it. Um, you could also add like goat cheese or blue cheese or something like that, but um, dairy-free so I'm not gonna do that okay so I preheated the oven to 425 I have the potatoes here cut up I seasoned it with salt pepper paprika garlic powder onion powder and some cayenne and I did the same to the delicata squash um, and drizzled some olive oil I cut the delicata squash like this so in half and then in small pieces um, because there's so much I'm going to bake them on two different baking sheets so they're not overcrowded. So I'm going to put this in the oven now for 30 minutes to bake. The potatoes in and the squash. Move them around so they're, I mean, it's inevitable to have them touch, but if you could get them not touching, that would be great. So while the squash and the potatoes are in the oven, I'm going to assemble the salad so it has time to just sit there and, and air out. I got a bag of arugula, so pretty simple. Dump that. Then I'm going to put all of these sliced red onions on top. So I did about um a half but it was like a large half of an onion of a red onion so you cut it in half and then you cut it this way to get these like long pieces like that and then i'm going to take these pomegranate kernels and sprinkle these on top you could buy these already pitted um at the store i actually get the whole ones they look like this. You just cut it up and then you have to like pick out the seeds. Um, sometimes it's a little tedious, but I find it to be relaxing. And then I'm going to put a little bit of dry cranberries on top as well. And then once the squash and the potatoes are done, I'm gonna let them cool and then add them to the salad as well. So I'm gonna make the dressing now. Um, it is four tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of balsamic, some salt, some pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, and then I'm going to juice half of a lemon as well. Um, and then shake it up and then you could taste it to see if you need a little bit more of each ingredient. For the chicken, I just marinated it in olive oil, lemon juice, oregano, salt, pepper, paprika, and some cumin. It's just um, chicken breast. Uh, you could marinate it for two hours or overnight, and I'm just gonna put it on the grill and grill it. Next thing I'm going to do are the little rose apple tarts. Um, so you're going to need some puff pastry, some apples. Um, I have three a um, apple cider jam or an apricot jam. Um, I like that the best. Uh, some cinnamon and a little bit of sugar as well. So right now I'm going to cut up the apples um, and then you have to warm them up a little bit so they're soft so then we can roll them. So this is after our guest has left and it's after our dinner. Um, I don't know what happened with the rest of my video, but what I did do with the apple tart is instead of making individual apple tarts, I just put the puff pastry down, then on a baking sheet, then I spread the jam with a brush, then I put the apple slices on top, and I sprinkled some sugar and cinnamon on top, and I put that in the oven. It's 400 degrees for 15 minutes, and it was delicious. 